Hey everybody. Well, I may be about uh, 10 years uh, late to the party, but I finally got a GoPro. Uh, I'm going on a trip, wanted some, uh, some good action footage, and uh, after getting this camera, I realized that there were about a million and one ways to mount this thing, and uh, started to kind of research that and look into it, and I've come up with uh, a few different ways that uh, I'm gonna use, and I wanted to show those to you. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at uh, some of the basic options we have here. Uh, first, got a little uh, carbon fiber floaty stick. Uh, you know, it's just about, oh, I don't know, eight inches long. Got this from Amazon and uh, works quite well. It's got a uh, little lanyard on there and uh, importantly, it does float with the uh, camera on there. So if by chance you're playing in the water, in the pool, in a river, and you uh, let go of your precious GoPro, it's not going to end up on the bottom, which is quite a good thing. All right, next we have the same top, little clippy mount. Uh, basically, it's just a uh, really, really strong alligator clip. It's a little, you know, standard GoPro area, and uh, this entire thing rotates. So depending how you want to put that strap onto, a, you know, a bag or. A, even I suppose put that on your hat um, so it gives you a pretty uh, pretty versatile number of ways that you could mount your uh, mount your camera All right now we're getting a little fancier uh, this right here is a uh, one-off 3d printed clip um, I wanted a way to put my floaty stick into a clip that then mounted onto a strap on a backpack and uh, nothing like that existed uh, out in the market and uh, I looked around so I decided uh, to give it a try and uh, with this setup you can basically keep your floaty stick uh, available uh, you can position it you know rotate it back and forth but if you need it and uh, want to handheld something just pull it out and there you go now our final option is obviously the most expensive and most sophisticated. This is a three-axis gimbal. Uh, this one in particular is made by a company called Zhiyun. Um, it's available on Amazon for a very reasonable price and uh, does a lot of cool things. It really, uh, really makes a difference um, in the smoothness of your videos. Now, obviously the problem with this thing is that it's not waterproof. Um, so if you're gonna be, you know, out in the rain, or at the beach or in the water, uh, this is not gonna be a, uh, a good solution for you. So one thing I wanted to point out about this gimbal is that it's designed for a smartphone, like an iPhone. Um, this is great, it works well, but the way it's designed is that the screen of the phone faces you and the lens of the camera faces out. Um, that works wonderfully. However, um, the GoPro is a little bit trickier to actually get in there. Um, while they do make specialized little mounts for the GoPro that are kind of shaped like a smartphone and you kind of clamp the camera in there, I actually wanted to be able to use the GoPro like just in its normal little housing and not have to have some kind of specialized equipment, um, which I also read can actually, because it's so big, um, that special mount can actually kind of interfere with the gimbal, hit parts of it and kind of limit its range of movement. So I wanted to see if we could get it to work. Uh, just in here. So check this out. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, you'll notice that I have it in a, the GoPro in its normal little little cage here, but I did put the little foot on it. Uh, what that allows us to do is actually clamp it inside the clamp uh, without any real issues. Um, you'll notice though that when you turn on the gimbal, the GoPro is facing you. Um, obviously that's not gonna work. We need to have the gimbal face the other way. Uh, luckily, this one has a little setting where you can basically reverse it and uh, by triple clicking the control, it will swing the camera around and now I can hold it, access all the buttons here, but have the camera facing out. And so you see it works, uh, works pretty well. All right, now that we've looked at the options, let's see how they perform. All right, first up, we're gonna look at using the uh, GoPro on the floaty stick. Uh, obviously, this is handheld. Um, the dampening effect of your arm makes the uh, video pretty smooth. It's not too bad. I wasn't trying to be really smooth, so it works well. Next up, 
equally stick in 3D mount. Um, you can definitely tell that each step that I take tends to bounce you around a little bit. The uh, video stabilization really struggles to, uh, to smooth that out. Now we got the, uh, the alligator clip mount. It's uh, very similar. Again, strapped to your shoulder, so it's really going to transfer all that motion from your body straight up into the camera, and I'd say it's real similar to the 3D mount. And finally, we have the gimbal. Um, obviously, this is the smoothest of our options. It uh, takes away pretty much all the movement uh, from steps and makes it a very elegant, smooth little transition as you move around. Okay, so what are our conclusions here? Um, there's a lot of ways to mount a GoPro and carry it. Um, I think that if you only have one, a, a short little stick uh, probably is, makes the most sense. It gives you the most options. Um, you can carry it. Uh, you can use it, you know, selfie, selfie mode without looking like a ridiculous tourist. And uh, if you're going to get one, you might as well get one that floats um, just for that little added bit of safety. Um, body mounts are cool, um, but you know, they, they, they do transfer a lot of your motion uh, right into the camera, so you are gonna have shakier footage, but for anything that needs, uh, you know, that needs both hands, you know, kayaking, climbing, mountain biking, um, you know, obviously you're gonna need to mount it on your body somewhere. Um, now, if you have the time to do, you know, actual uh, shots to put in a little bit of preparation for what you're filming, uh, a gimbal is a fantastic tool. They can be had for, uh, for not much money these days and uh, they really do make a great difference in the, in the smoothness and professional uh, look of your video. So um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm looking forward to trying these things out uh, a little bit more on my, uh, my upcoming trip and I'll be sure to let you guys know how it all worked. Um, so uh, as always, uh, subscribe. There'll be a button somewhere down there and uh, like this video as well if you enjoyed it and uh, talk to you guys soon.